welcome to my channel lace empress here where spirituality is our fashion statement today we are going to um i need to put my rings on thought that'd be cute anyway today we are going to get into leo's mask off a person past thoughts reading for august we're going to see what's on that heart and mind this could bring you some form of confirmation um something that you may already know or something that they haven't told you yet so initially when i first pulled um a card to get their overall energy it's saying now it's time for them to focus on um travel and focus on travel and expanding your horizons explore new cultures and gain knowledge so they need to um it's coming across like they need to um learn different things by traveling and seeing the world like open themselves up to new experience okay that's the overall energy i got for this person that it's time for them to open themselves up for new experience maybe this person is set in their ways and they're not doing things they're not getting out they're not seeing the world they're just stuck maybe that was the issue in a relationship as far as not trying new things sitting around doing the same old stuff so um Spirit is coming across telling this person to open up their mind and their heart to new experiences. And that's going to allow them to gain more wisdom from the traveling and experiencing different cultures and different things that they never experienced. Okay. Interesting. Maybe this person is just a homebody, you know. Okay, let's get some messages. Let's see what we got. Let's get three messages. Okay. Those came out pretty easy. So, I blame you for my issues. Oh, goodness gracious. I, won't, I almost said this person is a nutcase. But I didn't want to say that. But, you know, sometimes it comes across that way. So, I blame you for my issues. So, this person don't like to take responsibility for whatever mistakes they made or have made in the past or will make in the future, I feel. Um... I have a mental problem and I am ashamed. So this says screws loose. So that's why I say this person is a nutcase because it's like, um, I feel like they're aware that they have an issue. Uh, something, something mentally, they're aware they have that, but they're not doing anything about it. Like they want you, Leo, to assess the issue, be their therapist, be their their partner and their person and they put all the burden on you i just feel like um yeah they don't like taking responsibility and then the last card is i'm a narcissist controlling lack empathy i am always right self-absorbed so they like the attention on them but with attention um they do know that when you put attention on yourself you can see flaws and all you can see all the good things and you can see all the bad things so this person puts you in uh a position where it's like okay if you see bad stuff don't talk about it if we need to have some sort of um conversation about something that you feel that i may have did or did not do um ignore it because i'm going to blame you anyway i'm not going to take responsibility Oh, my, 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 my. Um, I also feel like this is, like, really heavy to you, Leo. Like, I felt like when you um, left this person or you guys went apart, it was something that lifted. But you're still a little curious. And I see why this card came out because this is saying this person is stagnant. Like, they want to do what they want to do. They didn't never want to do what you want to do. They did not want to open up and try new stuff. It was, like, their way or the highway. So, this is why this came out for them to have some sort of expansion. Because them just staying stagnant and not taking risks and being in their own world. So, being in their own world, being controlling, um, is what pushed you away from them. When I look at this and I see, like... Um, I have a mental problem and I'm ashamed. And you see the USB cord with the lightning in the inside. It's like this is as far as their brain expands. There's This is the little bubble and there's nothing outside of here. Everything else outside of here is clear. So if you see that, it's kind of like they're limiting themselves. Ooh, okay. Let's get some clarity on these. Then we'll get some, um, some cards to see 
what you want to say. I keep I see wedding rings keep popping out. But I don't think I shuffled these. So let me shuffle these. We can get some some energy flowing here. Okay. Let's get three cards for this um reading. Let's go a little dig a little deeper. Okay, so this person is coming across. I keep on saying nutcase, but I feel like they have issues and they don't want to deal with them. Like they it could be something from their past that they're holding in, but they don't want to deal with whatever issue they have. Yeah, and it's definitely causing issues within the relationship. It causes issues within the relationship. Okay, so we got paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, um, enjoying each other. Coffee cup is meeting, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted. And then hand of cards, taking a chance, risk, being strategic, options not showing, hand, gambling. I feel like on one moment, this person is like happily in love with you. I feel like this person, they're happily in love. I'm trying to get it so you can see the cards. Yeah. They're happily in love with you when you guys were together, when you allowed them to do what they wanted to do, when you allowed them to blame you, okay, when you allowed them to blame you, they were in paradise. And it says enjoying each other. I feel like you, you guys enjoyed each other because Leo, you made the sacrifice to allow this person to be happy and you sacrificed some of your own happiness for this person. Mental cup with coffee cup. So they feel like, um, I think this person misses your energy as well. So they are saying that they have a mental problem. They're ashamed and they don't want to talk about it, but they want you to know about it. They don't want to do anything about it, but they want you to know about it. So they want to meet up and talk to you and maybe mention it and say, yeah, I know I have a problem. I got a fruit screws loose, but you know, that's not a big deal. They're looking at it like it's, it's not, it's not a big deal. So you shouldn't make a big deal out of it, Leo, if they're not making a big deal out of it. And they also are saying they are narcissists, but they want you to take a chance with them again. Even though they have narcissistic characteristics, and I don't feel like they're trying to change. You know, I was going to clarify, but let's get some energy from your side, Leo, and see what you want to say to this person. We're just going to get a few from you. Then we're going to jump back into their energy and see where they're at now. Yeah, this person is coming across like, I'm still me. So this person hasn't changed. I feel like this could have been a recent breakup and you just want to know what's going on with them. I feel like this is something recent. This ain't. This is not something that happened five years ago. Then again, Spirit just corrected me. It could have been. And this person is still in that same funky energy about my way or the highway. So, this is a difficult one. You have to make this decision if you want to deal with this person. My way or the highway. Very, very um, close-minded person. I feel like they're emotionally available as long as you do what they say to do. Okay? I feel like they like, oh, as long as my person is doing what I say do, then I'm emotionally available. Until then, they're, if you don't allow them to be in control and have that self-absorbed moment, they, um, they lose it. They lose it. What's your response to this, Leo? What you want to say to this person that you may have not said? Okay, we'll get three messages for you, too. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> One more message for Leo's point of view. Oh, that's too many. One more message, Holy Spirit. Okay. This one flipped, and there's another one trying to come out. Lord. Leo, you said everything. Everything. Oh, so this it seems like this person is coming across energy like they had other people. So you selfish as person, you say I blame you, and your response is they selfish. They selfish as hell. Um, it says 
Your second response to the I have a mental problem is you missed out on a down ass bitch. So you missed out on a good person. This is what you telling them, Leo. They missed out on a good person and they were too selfish to see it. They were just worried about self-preservation. And the last response that you have is your energy still lingers around me because they are narcissists. They got into your mental. So this is your reply to I am a narcissist. So they got into your mental. That's why their energy is lingering around because they're still um, in your mental space. So you're going to have to learn how to kick this person out. Yeah, you're going to have to you're going to have to learn how to kick this person out because they're still in your mental space, which is not necessarily a good thing for you, Leo. So you're going to have to learn how to kick this person out. Let's get a little more information and dig a little deeper and see what does God want us to know here? Well, this seems like this person got got a lot of mental issues. They just they're very very controlling. What we have here? Oh, oh my God! Oh my goodness! So we have the devil, <laughs> the five of swords, and the lovers. So this person puts you in third parties. Come on. And then we got the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. So it's like, uh, it's so much mental conflict here. And then we got the nine of discs at the top. So the nine of pentacles. It's the energy of uh, being single and free. Uh, working on yourself. <clears throat> that may be from your end, Leo. But your person, the advice here or more information is that this person is obsessed uh, with some, it's like some form of sexual energy, a lot of competition, and the lovers. I, I get the energy of involving other people in a relationship. So like having multiple lovers and putting this relationship as an option. So this is why this did not work out. Because they put this relationship as an option so that they can have some form of control. So it kind of make you uneasy. Like, oh, I better do what this person say. Um, or they're going to leave me. Or they got they got better people around them. Not necessarily, no. They got people, but that don't mean they better. And now this person sees that. But I feel like this person is telling you these things. They spilling their tea and saying they got all these screws loose. Coming across like a nutcase because they want you to deal with it. Even though it may not be fair to you, Leo. They want you to deal with this nonsense. Wow. They definitely want you to deal with it. But now that they know that you are intelligent enough to understand or you figured them out, per se. Let's say you figured out what's under their mask. Now they're like, okay, I might as well lay it on the table. But I still want that joy you gave me. I still want to talk with you. And I still want to have you as one of my options. Hmm. Because I'm obsessed with you. Maybe the sex was good. That's how it's coming across. I'm obsessed with you, but I have other options. But I want to put you back in rotation. Oh, no. <laughs> what type of person y'all got going on right Who, who energy is this, Lord? Mm -mm. Let's get them a healing card. What they need to do. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I believe this is for you, Leo. Treat yourself. Hair, clothes, nails, manicure, pedicure. Okay, so I believe that this is saying take yourself out, get your mind off of this crazy ass person. Because this person is a tweet. Let's get a message from him. Oh, this is telling this person to work on their sacral chakra. Emotion, sexuality, creativity, and desires. So this is definitely um, valid for this person. They need to work on their sacral chakra to balance out their emotions and all this sexual energy they have with no love. Tell you that I had enough. You get no love. This is this person. Like they ain't they ain't giving out proper love to who they need to give love to, which is you, Leo. They're holding back their love so they can stay in control over this relationship. This is crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy. What more information we got here for this person? Rat. Someone working against you behind your back. And, oh, cat, a two-faced friend. So, this coming across like this person does not have good intentions. Tower, solid foundations, successful efforts. So, it's also saying 
if you if this person put effort in this relationship could have been successful but at this moment this person is definitely coming across like they're doing things behind your back that's what the lovers that they're doing and two-faced it is just said they're not showing the true colors of who they really are so they are not giving you the proper option to deal with them or not because they're not really showing who they are Ooh, okay i'm done with this energy i have to come up out of here because your person, Leo, whoever this past person is, somebody that you may have had on your mind, they're really in that same toxic kind of energy of being narcissistic and not taking responsibility for their own actions. So that's unfair. But it's, it's what we go through sometimes when we meet people and they're not honest with us. But Leo, it's your choice if you want to deal with this person or not. Me? Mm-mm. Wouldn't do it. But it's your choice. This has been your mask off. A hey, person past thoughts reading for August. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.